Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS and improve your performance in Apex Legends Season 16, which has been dropped recently. Once again, this guide is going to be very informative, so watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that you have to look up for settings on your desktop and once you are here, you have to simply search for game mode. Just so simply go to turn on game mode and make sure this, this is enabled. This will basically disable all of the running apps in the background allowing you to save a lot of processing power while you're playing the game. Right beneath that you will find the related settings, under that you will find graphics. Just click on graphics, click on change default graphics settings and make sure the turn on hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is turned on as well as optimization for windowed games is turned on. Once you're done with that, go back to graphics and now over here you will see a list of all the games in your computer. In case you don't find a game, you can simply click on browse and then go to the install location of your game. For me, I have already added Apex Legends in here. What you need to do is simply go to Options and click on High Performance. This will basically utilize your GPU over your CPU graphics. And just by doing this step, you will get an instant FPS boost. Step number two is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. And for that, you have to right click and then go to show more options and go to NVIDIA control panel. Once again, if you have an AMD or Intel HD graphics, go check out the link in the description below for the best settings for both of those GPUs. Once you're in the NVIDIA control panel, go to adjust image settings with preview and then click on use the advanced 3D image settings. Then go to manage 3D settings and in here, just follow the same settings. Once you've applied the same settings, go to Configure Surround and Physics and under the Processor section, go and click on your GPU. This will start utilizing your GPU graphics to render the game rather than your CPU graphics. And this will be really really useful if you are running the game on a laptop. Step number 3 is system configuration and for that you have to literally search for system configuration on your desktop. Once this little pop-up opens up, you have to go to the boot section, go to advanced options, click on number of processors and select the maximum number of processors. Click on OK and then click on OK over here. This will basically reduce your booting time and this will also improve your PC in the long run. Step number 4 is deanimate the windows. As it says, it will automatically deanimate your windows. For that, you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Once you are here, click on adjust for best performance and enable smooth edges of screen font as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. This will basically remove all of the unnecessary animations on your windows. And this step alone will get you a lot of FPS boost. So I highly recommend you guys to do this if you are running a super low end computer. Step number five is creating a restore point. And this is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point and go under system protection. Select your local disk C or any drive with say system. Click on configure and make sure turn on system protection is enabled. Then go to create and name it Apex Legends. Then simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if in case anything goes wrong on your computer, you can always restore everything back to normal. Once it is done, you can simply click on close and close system properties and let's move to step number 6, that is the Apex Legends Season 16 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this FPS pack down in the description below. Once you've downloaded and opened the pack up, you will find in four folders. First one is the PC optimization and as it says, it has a few files that will optimize your PC. You have to simply run all of them by double clicking on them and in case you're worrying what these files are going to change, you can simply go to show more options, click on edit and you can see these files are going to change the following settings. Now, just to save the time, I will show you guys what these file changes. Boost PC responsiveness will boost your PC's responsiveness. It will stop the unwanted applications running in the background. Then disable large system cache. As it says, it disables the large system cache. So your system stops producing large system cache files. 
also this one disable power throttling so in case your pc is using a lot of power disabling the power throttling will stop your pc to adjust the power and it will constantly pump power into your pc and thread priority as it says it will automatically prioritize your threads in your processor allowing your pc to perform much faster i highly recommend you guys to run all four of them and then go into the cpu priority folder in here you have to run the increased power efficiency and this will boost the power efficiency consumed by your processor then we have the amd and intel folder now if you have an intel cpu go and run the intel priority if you have an amd cpu go to amd priority once you're done with that go to input delay fix folder and you will find in five files first one is the low end keyboard buffer second one is medium end keyboard buffer third is high end and fourth is ultra end and the last one is the reset one that is a default keyboard buffer now in case you're wondering what to choose from kindly leave your keyboards and mouse packs down in the comments below and i will reply to each one of you individually for the best buffer pack to reduce your input delay Thirdly is the RAM optimization and over here I have left a preset to a lot of memory. So if you are running a 16GB RAM, you have to run the 16GB RAM registry. It can be different for you. You have to check it in system information. Simply search system information on your settings and then you will find the install physical memory over here. For me the 16GB, it can be different for you so you have to run the related RAM optimization. And this will basically optimize your RAM for better and smoother performance. And lastly is the cleanup section where I have provided a clean temporary file start batch file. You have to simply right click and run this as an administrator. Now once this screen pops up, you have to simply press any key and this will start deleting all of the unnecessary temporary file in your computer. Don't worry, this step is completely safe and it won't delete any of your necessary files. It will only delete the files that you do not need and it is system generated. So it just makes your PC faster okay so if you're suffering from internet issues and you want to fix all of your network issues okay this step will tell you how to fix all of your network issues for that i highly recommend you guys to use a free application called exit lag you can use this for free for three days simply go to the link in the description below and download exit lag from this here once you open up the application you can see a simple clean interface like this make sure that exit lag button is enabled that means that this application is now working underneath that you will find a list of over 250 games to choose from you can simply look up for apex legends and then click on the game region nearest to you for me the nearest region is singapore 01 and click on routes within my country first so if there are any servers or any routes possible in your country it will start to uh, route it first it will prioritize that route and then simply click on apply and then apex legends will be added into your library also go into the tools section go into the fps boost enable first third fourth fifth and second last option and that will be the best option for the computer these things will definitely help you guys to reduce your ping input delay and much more so make sure to go and check this out once again exit log is not completely free and you have to get a subscription after three days so you can choose a one month 12 month and six month subscription and if you go through my link down in the description below you can get additional 10 percent off on the subscription so make sure to choose wisely and now for the best settings you have to open up your game go into your settings section and in here you're going to look for the video section now follow the exact same settings that i have followed and you will be playing on the best fps possible go over to display mode and set it to full screen but if you are on a super low-end computer i highly recommend you guys to go with windowed and lower down your resolution to get much better fps then scroll all the way down until you find sprint view shake and make sure to keep it minimal because you do not want it more then vsync i highly recommend you guys to keep it disabled nvidia reflex you can try between enable and enable plus boost whichever works best for you also adaptive fps target make sure to decrease it all the way to zero scroll down until you find anti-aliasing and make sure to keep it off then for the texture streaming budget keep it to very low or none as both of them will get you the best fps texture filtering should always be bilinear this will always reduce your gpu load Emit occlusion would be set to disabled sun shadow coverage will be low sun shadow detail will be low 
spot shadow detail will be disabled disable volumetric lightning and dynamic spot shadows also for all of the settings down below make sure to keep it to their lowest this will get you the best fps possible in apex legends new season i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below also we are really close to 100k subscribers and i believe in you guys consider hitting the red subscribe button down below it really helps me out a lot we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out